guys welcome back as you can see I've got very similar colors to that other beachy pour that I did I called it seascape I'm gonna do another one but instead of layering the colors I'm just gonna pour the colors in like a dirty pour uh, when I first started pouring three years ago that's how I lay it that's you know that's how I filled my cups I just poured them in uh, let me get these out of the way for a sec um, I'm using my Montmartre colors as usual now this is phthalo blue uh, that's that one navy with a blob of black to make it a navy and then this one here is phthalo blue two parts phthalo blue one part dark green to make it teal so those are those ones this chocolate brown here is burnt umber and then that one is turquoise now this guy here um, he's basically white with just two little blobs of the burnt umber in him to make him a, a chocolate, uh, to make him like a creamy colour. Okay, docs. So that's that. Oh, I was going to work out how much paint I had. Um, I've probably got more than I need. Um, <clears throat> So I did 70 grams of pouring medium and 70 grams of paint. That's 140. But then I got a little bit less of the turquoise, a little bit less of the navy. The navy one I didn't have in my seascape pour. Um, but I thought I'd just add it because I like navy. The other one was quite a greeny tone with the turquoise and the teal. And I've got my bunny, my chocolate bunny. I've already eaten his ears though. Easter Tuesday today. Still not working <laughs> so I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna eat some chocolate it's cold he's been in the fridge I like it when it goes snap I don't like it I don't like soft chocolate I like it nice and hard that I can bite All right let's put the oil in while I eat my bunny <laughs> um, the smaller cups I'll put three drops the bigger cups I'll put four drops and this is the spot on treadmill silicone Mm. Yeah, let's do the white. I think I did all the colours last time in the seascape, hey, and it worked out really pretty. Now, the white I haven't thickened this time, because you know how usually I make my white an extra 10 grams of paint? Um, I didn't do that this time. It's just equal amounts. My pouring medium is my usual, 60% Elmer's glue oil, 40% water. And then that's mixed equal parts paint to pouring medium. Um, in some pours, because the white tends to be thinner, I add an extra blob of white. But I didn't do that. I've just gone with the equal amounts. That's how I do it when I do a sandwich pour. I'm looking forward to doing another sandwich pour. Actually, this is similar, very similar to a sandwich pour where you've got more white except it have double the amount of white that I've got here and then just a little bit of colour, just for a hint. I will do one of those again soon because it's been a while since I've done one, hey. Mix that, mix that quickly and then I'll have another bite of chocolate and then I'll start. At least the layering is going to be faster. This is a 30 centimetre by 60 centimetre canvas, which is 12 by 24 inches. I'm going to make sure my oil's really mixed in. I don't want any blobs don't want any blobbies if you get a big blob of silicone oil when you tip your paint out and you stretch it and it turns into this big wormy creature don't like that cheers here's to another bite of chocolate <laughs> did I spill some chocolate on there okay now this cup of white I have to divide into these three so I'll just make sure that's equal probably should have had more white I think my last one I did three cups of white didn't I all right so now I'm just gonna swirl that in swirl it in and swirl it in so that's all I do I might as well just scrape the paint out. 
these are my largest cups they hold they're about 400 grams of paint okay here we go with the turquoise swirl it in whoops not much left for you you haven't got much in you I just think swirling it in incorporates a little bit of that white around the edge otherwise if you just pour it in straight through the middle the white kind of splashes up the sides and then you end up with a lot of white edges so just a bit of a, a swirl around and kind of blend the colors a little bit more actually I might leave that one till the end put the white in at the at the end let's go with some navy it does feel a little bit thicker than navy the um, blues Sometimes the blues are just a bit thicker. The brown, I had to add less brown. I just know that the Montmartre brown is thicker. I think most brands, brown's like a really thick paint. It must just have something to do with the, the pigment that they use. So it hasn't got as much paint. It's probably 15 grams less paint than pouring medium. Um, okay, so I've just put a dark color in. So let's go with the light one next. Poor little end cup he always misses out I put a big blob of paint in the first one and then I have to reduce it as I go along might put him in the middle get the paint off my arm okay so now I've just put the light one in so we'll go with the teal Hopefully the colour's falling all the way through. I guess some of it will sit on top like that. But um, it's it's good to pour kind of from up high so you get the weight of the paint falling down through the other colours. And when I tip it upside down, they're going to blend anyway, but I just like to blend them a little bit in the cup. Okay, so here's the white up high, blend it in. Look how pretty that looks, hey? Make sure these are all about the same amount of paint in them. And I'm not going to do a drag, I'm just going to flip them over. Okay, there's all the paint out. Let me have another bite of my bunny. All right, move those out of the way. There's one. Three, wow. Flipped them pretty good, didn't I? Woohoo! I'm just thinking how I want to flip them. I might flip the middle one first down and these ones out. You always want your end of the cup to be on the outside like you wouldn't flip this one in because then you'll have a messy end of cup in the middle you always want to flip them towards the outside of your canvas let's let them sit for a minute not that tapping them does anything i didn't spray these ones do you guys get cadbury's in the states it's made in australia i don't know like you get hershey's don't you mm, yum that's my breakfast coffee and chocolate bunny for breakfast not real healthy um all right i'll do this one first and i'm gonna flip those two let's put a little bit of this on there the corners it's a lot darker than the other one see what i mean about your the bottom of the cup always has a little bit of a messy look to it so you're better off making it sort of go towards the edge then you can tip it off yeah there's certainly not as much white but i do like the navy all right let's do this one okay 
Okay. Woohoo. Like that. <clears throat> I've never done a, a flip and lip. Never done it. <laughs> One day I will. One day. But I want to see what this looks like first. Maybe I'll do a flip and lip next time. Um, now, where's my torch? I don't want to torch just yet. I want to cover half the surface first. And, oh, hello. Goodbye. Because of that big blob there, that needs to go. That blob needs to go. That needs to go. So there's plenty of paint on the surface. People say to me, oh, you use too much paint. Well, yes, I do. But if you don't, you can't tip enough off. So, yeah. It's just experience, you know. This is what I've I've taught myself over the years that I have to have a lot of paint. I'm gonna need my corner catcher because I'm gonna lose paint. So you know, I say to them, well, once you've you know done a big pour, a flip cut pour, you will realise that you need all that paint. Okay, here we go. It's, it's much darker than I thought. Hopefully I'll get some um, lighter cells popping up. And because I didn't do a flip and drag to get the lines, you see, I don't necessarily have to worry too much about my stripies. I do need to get that off though. But that will go off when I start uh, tilting after I've torched. So don't worry about that now. You want to keep as much paint on the surface as you can uh, before you torch because what happens is you torch and the heat goes down through all those layers of paint it's quite thick that that thick sitting on there and the heat will bring the oil to the surface it'll bring the cells um, with the different colors from the layers of paint to the surface um, so if you've got a very thin amount of paint left on there you're not going to get your oil coming through lots of layers. Does that make sense to you? So you're not gonna get your multicolored cells. Now, not too high. Oh, sorry, not too low. Oh my gosh. See, I can't even pop bubbles, I'm not that low. I'm gonna go really gently this time because I got too low last time. So I am too high to pop, cell, uh, to pop um, bubbles which is fine. I can pop them later. Some of them might pop as I start stretching and or I can use a skewer. Look how gently I'm going, you guys. The nozzle of the um, the nozzle of that is about a foot off my canvas. That's how high I am. So rather go slow, you can go over it again really take your time get that heat slowly coming through don't get too close gently does it not even close enough to pop bubbles hey just remember that if you're too close to pop bubbles if you're too close um, and you're popping your bubbles then you're too close. I'm gonna try and say that again. <clears throat> if you are popping bubbles, <clears throat> you're too close. I'm really taking my time here. It's looking a little bit dark and kind of muddy-ish. I hope it's not going to be. I hope once these cells pop up, <clears throat> we'll have a little bit more light <clears throat> cells coming through. Um, but I did swap out one of the whites for a navy. So I don't know if that's going to make an awful lot of difference. We shall see what happens when I start tilting. Still going with the torch. Try not to get too many cells. Might do some more torching afterwards actually. I'm not getting much here, I don't know why. Maybe my, maybe one of my, my navy might have been a bit thick. All right, that'll do for now. Oh, what's going on there? 
All right, we've got our cells. Now we just need to stretch them out. We'll just give them a minute. Have another bite of chocolate. <laughs> I haven't got a coffee with me though. I don't know how I feel about that. See what it looks like when it's stretched out. All right, need to get that off. Now the weight of the paint's still up this end, isn't it? Because I took it over there. So now's the per perfect opportunity to get that off. While oh, the weight of the paint's still down here. There it goes. Should probably get that off as well. And I just took off that bottom line there of that cream <clears throat> that was bothering me. Okay, <clears throat> now hopefully I've got enough paint left to cover the rest. So here we go, walking up and down and up and down. Oh, there's something in there. There's something in there. It catches and the paint sticks to it and it makes that weird little pattern. It's probably just unmixed paint. Did I get it all? See, that's going to bother me now. I don't know whether I'm going to want to keep this at all. All right. Well, let's just keep going. That's right in the center. I'm not going to be able to tip that off. Over that corner. Come back. <clears throat> down there. And then I need to bring it like that as well to kind of straighten that. Well, huge cells. <laughs> It's much darker, isn't it? What do you think? <clears throat> it's a bit overstretched. Look at that one big cell there. That's because I went over this side twice. So I can't say I'm going to be happy with this one. Hmm, what can I do with it? What can I do with it? I mean, it's still pretty, but for me, I really dislike elongated cells and I've got that I've got lots of elongated cells because I've gone over that twice now I wonder what would happen if I, I'm going to just like go through this with my little tool and then torch again kind of go through I might leave that I have no idea. All right, let's torch it again in the line to get some little cells up. See how it's pulled all the cells? It's kind of given that sort of a flowery kind of a look. So I've pulled all the cells through. No doubt going to scrape this, but let's just have a play. Let's go. And, let's do a few more cells. I don't know that I like the navy. I'll just stick to what I had in the other one. Let's put more cells in, hey? All right, lots of cells, lots of cells. Okay, now let's um just... Have a little bit of a, a tilt around. And move some stuff around, hey? See what it looks like? There's still that blobby bit in there. Okay. 
Oh dear, oh dear. That is just awful, awful, awful. Those are pretty cells there. They are. Um, just getting a piece of plastic. So I'm going to scrape this. Let's just um, let's just swipe all this because it's just a mess. It is a mess. Maybe I can give you a little bit of advice on how to save a painting. <laughs> done that now see the edge there where I've touched it I'm just going to take the paint back a little bit see if I can go over the edge just because I've made a bit of a, a mess there okay I just like a smooth edge that's all look at that edge now see how pretty that is My gosh, look at the mess I've made. Oh no, did I just, oh, I just picked that up. Oh, just not my day today, you guys. Look what happens when I eat chocolate while I'm trying to work. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I must have picked up a drip somewhere. I don't know if I can get it off. There it goes. How pretty is that background though, hey? And you are still in there giving me grief. Hey, my goodness. All right, now I need a clean cloth. Such grubby hands. Um, that needs swiping again. This is a big blobby bit here. I'm going to have some washing up to do. Righto, torch, here we go. Let's see if we can save this painting at all. in circles hopefully there's enough paint left on the surface to, to bring up some cells or have I scraped it all off I love that stripy background that's really pretty it's not very bright at all is it it's just a very muted sort of a color much brown, a bit of brown there. Not getting much cells here. I think the paint's pretty thin here. I'll get a bit closer. I don't want to burn it though. All right. <clears throat> Looks like wallpaper. Now let me see if I can just make these a little, little bit bigger by moving everything just a, a tad. Just opening up those cells a tiny little bit. It looks like wallpaper. <laughs> All right, that's it. I won't move it anymore. Just opened up the cells 
a little bit. Well, that was um, that was an experience that hopefully kind of saved. I'm going to scrape this anyway and I'm going to mix up some more paints and, and I'll go again. Um, I think I'll stick to what I did the other day and have three whites and I'll leave the leave the navy out. I'll just stick to what I I know works. Right. I'll just fold that over so that you're not looking at too much mess because that is really, really grotty there. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. So is it? Oh, is it kind of saved? I guess if you, you know, you do a pour and a flip cup pour, and you really don't like it, um, it's kind of a way to maybe save a painting. You can swipe. You can swipe as is, like that, like I did, um, or you can mix up say some thinner black and uh, you know swipe with the black or swipe with um, some navy anything like that should work Just trying to get away from the, the glariness okay so it's just a very muted sort of a, a palette because it's been mixed <clears throat> And swiped and then tilted and swiped so the colors have all blended a lot so they're not bright they've all yeah all mixed and blended quite a lot so but there you are I like I actually quite like that edge there where more of the browns showing through Little tiny cells though, because the mix is so thick. So the cells pop up and they really don't have very much room to spread. I want to do a, a, you know, a swipe. Um, intentionally, my mix is thinner. So there we go. Can't say I enjoyed that. That was a bit stressful. <laughs> Hopefully I've kind of saved it. Anyway, um, I'm going to scrape it. I'm going to mix up some more paints. And um, we'll go again. I'll try a, a dirty pour again, okay? So I, I don't mind you guys seeing my fails. Um, we learn from them. And um, maybe you recovered a painting? I don't know. Maybe you would keep it. I don't really want to keep it. <laughs> I'll scrape it. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate it so much. All right. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.